Hey, it's Saturday, July 22nd. Happy birthday to my mom. Happy birthday, mom. Hey, we are back at this electrical stuff today, and I think yesterday I said we were going to try and get to that battery, uh, main battery feed. We, we did not, uh, but today's first objective is to get the P12 connection done for the magnetometer and when I say p12 this is just a reference that um, that they put on these plugs just an identification it's not anything that's not a Garmin thing or anything like that it's just how the avionic shop identified those plugs that we're using so that we get the right ones into the right spots uh, so that's p12 magnetometer GMU 11 will run uh, we've got that run coming up on the side there we'll figure out the length on that and we'll get that terminated out and maybe we will get back to uh, we'll maybe get that battery feed done. I also want to do the master panel powers uh, terminates here on the on the main bus uh, there we've got that ring terminal ready to go for that and uh, that will feed through the pass through and then over uh, to the main feed off the ammeter shunt there. Uh, so we'll see what we get to today. We're getting a little bit of an early start on it today. It's supposed to be pretty warm, so we're planning on knocking off here before it gets too hot. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Hey, something else uh, that I had a comment on and, and was kind of curious what if others are doing something different is this pass-through. We did this pass-through where uh, that's, that's where the hole was. That's where Rand's put the hole in the firewall for it. So that's how we're doing that pass-through. But um, the question was is running it, whether to run it over the top of this motor mount or under the bottom. And we took, we pulled all the wires and we pulled this down below. Um, but I don't, we don't think that's going to work because we still have to put another clamp around this, this, uh, this fire sleeve here. And if it's underneath there, uh, there really isn't a way to get that clamp on there and um, make that work. So I think we're probably just going to leave these wires coming out over the top. Seems like it's less, it's, there's not as much of a kink in it 
uh, as going the other way. So I think we're just going to leave it like that. All right, here's a weather check for you, Ruben. Uh, Tina says it is 87. 87 outside, 84 in the hangar. Yeah, 87 outside, 84 in the hangar. And um, it's going to be a warm one today. We're actually getting ready to uh, call it a day. We got the main battery cable uh, run through here because we just wanted to see how we're going to be able to route this. And I uh, did do a crimped an end onto it and we'll, uh, we have, that has to be clocked around once we figure out where it's going to go in there. And we also, uh, can't see it, um, crimped the end onto the main power for the panel and that's that feeds through here and will eventually connect to the main first first uh, part of the main bus right here so that's where that panel power is going to go didn't do anything with the ground cable because i haven't got that uh, placement figured out yet but that ground is over on the other side of the panel underneath and uh, once we get that we'll uh, get that done Arr, is that it we kind of looked at the routing a little bit some of the cable mm -hmm. routing wire harness routing yeah we looked at some of that gonna work a little bit more on that um so yep that's what we got uh for today and looks like a big spaghetti mess doesn't it kind of scary <laughs> uh hey everybody thanks for watching have a good evening and that's it for now